Hi, and welcome to our practical on the resistance of a wire based on its length. Um, I've made a table here already uh, from the 10 centimetre mark to the metre mark, uh, laying up our potential difference, our current, and we're going to work out our resistance from that. If we can just come in and have a look here, I've got a piece of wire that is measured from zero to a metre. I've got a voltmeter, an ammeter, a cell. I'm putting a switch on here so that my wire doesn't get hot. And I have got a crocodile clip so I can attach my circuit at any point down the length of that wire. We're going to be at 10 centimetres here. Um, so we're at 10 centimetres and we're going to take our reading by pressing the switch. It's 0.1.04, fluctuating between 1 and 0.4. So 1, 0.4. All right, correct. Then we're going to go on and move the crocodile clip along to 20 centimeters. 1.1. So using the formula, potential difference equals current times resistance, or we could work out using our triangle that current equals potential difference over resistance, or resistance equals potential difference over current. One is divided by zero point four. Zero point four. So I'll go one divided by zero point four equals one over two to give us 2.5 ohms. Okay. So I'm now going to calculate the resistance for all of my values. And using the length of the wire compared to the resistance of the wire, I can now plot a graph to show that as the length increases, so does the resistance. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, click that subscribe button.